Hi, my name is Elisa Parhad. I'm a writer and author, and I have two boys, Marseille and Kave. Growing up, my family was very frugal. I think that the upbringing of my parents contributed to kind of a DIY mindset of learning how to do something myself instead of paying others to do it. When I had my first kid, I was 32 years old. So my husband's career came to a point where he needed to be in Hollywood. And so we moved to Los Angeles and I got a job right away. And it was a really difficult work environment and I needed a change. I quit around the time I found out I was pregnant. I knew that the first few years of having a baby was going to be kind of all encompassing, but I also wanted to do something that I was completely in charge of where I could work on something when I was ready. And so I took that time to start a publishing company. I did a book on Southern California. And so how I used my early motherhood was I got to spend time with my baby and I would go and take the photographs for the book. I would like time it so he would fall asleep in the car and we would arrive somewhere and I'd do the pictures or research or whatever I needed to do. I sell my books, I publish them, and they don't make a huge amount of my revenue, but that income pays for any computer upgrades, camera upgrades, and 401k. What I kind of bring to the table to the family is not just the money that I bring in, but the money that I'm able to save us. So for example, when we travel, we rent our house out on Airbnb and that pays for often our hotels or our gas money or our restaurants. If my husband has a really, really, really crazy busy period, as do I, I'm gonna go get the oil changed by somebody else. If we have really open schedules, we're gonna change our own oil. I think one of the ways that I live my life is I really, really, really value time for creative projects and spending time how I wanna spend it. I always said art before dishes. I am gonna do my writing and do the projects that are gonna make money. There's no way you will ever find me not working on creative projects when I have time. I started realizing that books just do not make a lot of money. So I stepped away from books. When I had my second son in 2013, I worked making really, really good money doing market research. I started by going to conferences. And so I went to actually travel writing conferences thinking I was gonna be hiring writers for my publishing company and realizing, wait, I have all this content. I make anywhere between 1,000 to 3,000 a month with just freelance writing. I think there were many, many years where I was making like $1,000 a month from the book. I have never ever taken on a project and lost money on it. And maybe some of that is luck, but I have been very, very smart about what's gonna sell and how the market is gonna react. And I guess some advice I could give is think about any childcare that you have as investment in yourself and in your career. It takes a big investment to publish a book and I had $10,000. I decided I was gonna invest that into launching my own career. And that's how much it costs to ship the book and print it and start my website. So I think for other people who are looking into self-published titles, there is a concept called evergreen titles. And those are titles that the information is not gonna go out of date. It's like seasonal books. You know, if you have a book that is based on Halloween, that is gonna come back every year and it's gonna have a season and a place for it. I hope that my sons understand and see that you can make really any life you want work. I feel really lucky that my kids get to see how two people can make a living doing very creative things. It requires a lot of focus and patience, but that in the end it is worth it to focus on yourself and your passions.